JJ, what are you doing? Well, I was just mowing somebody down with the knock is all. I As figured that was a fun thing to do. As you do. <laughs> I mean, it, it's got to happen on occasion, right? And I felt like he was encroaching on my space. I claimed that Gladius, so they had to go. Sorry. So this, so this is a little area that's 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 on the surface of uh, Delamar. Uh, we're affectionately referring to it as the Planetary Playground. That's not an official naming or anything. It's just an area where we we put some spawn points, uh, added in some of uh, the new ships that are being added into 3.0, as well as some old fan favorites, and uh, let people jump in and explore a little bit about what Star Citizen 3.0 has to offer. So where are you going, DJ? Uh, I'm going to check out the outpost. Okay. I haven't checked out all of these over here because the one that I've done the most exploring is the one that's up there on that mountain point. So I figured to come and check this one out. So meanwhile, in the spawn point, um, I, I just spawned in, so I'm walking around and uh, I, I'm kidding out my character. So right now I'm walking through the uh, through this uh, this crash site of a uh, of a caterpillar with the new heavy marine armor, and I have managed to secure myself. The new rail gun, as well as I believe one of the newly refactored uh, ballistic rifles. So I'm just uh, having a good time here, looking around, enjoying the sunset. Oh, hold on, Meyer, not, not to interrupt. DJ appears to have found uh, some. What is that? Some loose change. Oh, some, uh, some, some pills. Yeah, uh, some, apparently. Some, that's, what, no, no, those no, are that's pills. medication and, and uh, some change. There's a question mark on that pill. That's quite worrying. See, I, that would be a problem, though. Long, long, <laughs> no, are you able to take a pill with a question mark on are it? Are you is able to zoom in on that? Uh, that is zoomed in on that. Oh, there it is. Oh, we can do a so. little bit more. So, uh, yeah. Um, um, there are some hearts in there. I don't know about this alien one, right? Like in this universe, with the Vanduul existing, and we know that aliens aren't necessarily the friendly. I mean, would, would you, you say no to drugs, people? <laughs> say no to drugs. Would you try it? That's the question. I don't live in this universe, but probably not. No. I don't know. Like I the mean, Vanduul have wrecked. Yeah. Okay, Meyer, the, the, Meyer the let's take a look at that railgun. <laughs> that railgun. Uh, sure. So I'm still in the uh, the armistice zone of the spawn point. Well, I was just watching the uh, the new players go about and, uh, and and enjoy the game for the first time. Well, the patch for the first time, should I say? Um, I need a few more seconds to get out of the armistice zone so I can bring out the weapon. But right. luckily, I have myself the new uh, Nox speeder bike to get there ASAP. Your, your heavy armor is a little uh, heavy on the right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this armor is so heavy, like it pushes the bike over. You've been drinking okay. again yesterday? Uh, just a bit. Uh, I, think you, I think you had a couple of those question marks. <laughs> <laughs> I had one or two of the happy pills. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm out of the armor system now, so I can now uh, get out. And I think I'll use this bike, actually. It served me well for like five seconds, but we're through. It's over. And you, see a, you, you, see, you seem to be in a target-rich environment for that railgun. I looked above you, and there are a number of ships in the air. Ah, I see. Oh, that caterpillar. That, I mean, that. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> Happy New Year on Daymar. <laughs> oh yeah. So actually, this is really cool because what I like about this uh, this new patch is that the rubble and stuff actually they persist for quite a long time as well. So I'm gonna bring out the railgun now. It looks like we're getting ready for a reset. All right. Get ready to. Oh, there, uh, it is. there we are. Yep, there we're we getting are. ready for a reset.
Ghostbusters are at it again. All right, now we are back in game. Indeed, and I've just found myself a new Nox as well, so uh, once I get inside and leave the armistice zone, I'll show you guys just exactly what this, uh, this new rail gun can do after the, uh, the usual mount. <laughs> what are you doing, DJ? Looking for another rail gun, and I'm going to rain Hellfire upon people. Because right. Hellfire sounds like a good thing to rain. Indeed. <laughs> I don't want right. to rain like Star Kid plushies. That's not cool. <laughs> but Hellfire, though, that I can do. No. No. Meyer. Yes. Where, where are you going? Uh, so, like I said, I was just going to show off the uh, the new railgun uh -huh. and then uh, oh. demonstrate its power. So, again, this is the new railgun here. It's uh, it's brand new to this patch, and uh, it's uh, it's a ridiculous monster of a weapon. It's by Apocalypse Arms, one of the in-game uh, manufacturers. Uh, each, each gun, each ship, each uh, you know, pair of underwear has its own manufacturer in this game. Oh, but before we shoot our ship, let's, let's go just ahead. Say, there you go. <laughs> Finish him. Take out this Cutlass. The Cutlass, as well, is one of the new ships for this game. Engine. It's pretty robust. The engine. engine. All right. Charge. Now. Ooh. Nice. Hit. nice hit. Good shot. Charge. You have to wait before so it glows. There we go. Bang. Oh, Got yeah. Him. Yep, yep, yep. He's still flying, though. He is still flying. Man, that, that Cutlass is a tank. It is a tank. Got him. Might be able to hit this hey. Gladius if I'm lucky. Now, now, you are seeing the kind of dogfight that happens when you have 10 people who have never played Star Citizen before. <laughs> it's true. I love it, though. Look at it. It's like a little convoy or something. <laughs> <laughs> That Aurora is gonna die. Oh, that was a pretty sweet maneuver by that by that Gladius there. Yeah, that Aurora is gonna die without my help, but I'm gonna try anyway. I missed just. All right. How are you able to miss? How are you able to commentate? <laughs> <laughs> I have a mic. <laughs> the salt. All right. So DJ is, is has got himself a cutlass now. What are I'm you doing, afraid. DJ? Uh, since I couldn't get out fast enough, I figured a good thing to do would be to uh, step over here. Hop into this ship and actually do some firing. So I set one of the uh, I set the plate ready as one of my switches, but I can't remember which one I set it to. There. We go. You gonna get in on some of this action? Oh yeah. All right. So uh, off camera, I just saw the coolest thing. So I'm gonna try and recreate it now. <laughs> Second, all right. So I'm gonna get one real gun. This. So look, DJ, how how does the new caterpillar fly? The, the caterpillar. I'm gonna say that. The new, uh, uh, yeah, the new cutlass. How does it fly? How does it Feels compare? Feels good. Feels uh, good. I haven't flown it in a while, so it's hard to say how it compares. Right. But uh, it feels right to me. That's good. Like uh. I think one of the things I love about this game uh -huh. is that like uh, all the different ships, like especially the larger ones, they feel large, and the smaller ones feel really agile. Like, um, how maneuverable is that compared to like say the aura that you've flown in the past so far? Ooh. Whoa! Ah. He, I, he just survived <laughs> contact with a Gladius. He just broke himself against your body. <laughs> he did it. It was his fault. Should have known better. Don't you hate it when Gladius just splatter on your windshield? It's the worst. It's the absolute worst. Whoa! <laughs> hey, if I can tank my way through it, I'm gonna. Uh, not maybe not so much. <laughs> not so much at all. The explosion. Hey, what are you doing, Meyer? Right. So I don't <laughs> think you guys got to see the full destructive force of this railgun. So I wanted to show you exactly what it can do against something like the Nox. So I'm gonna go ahead now and charge it up. And as you can see, it has several states. So it's charging. It's charging. It's ready now. And I thought that was really cool. Fireworks for days. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go find the Ursa rover now and then um, take myself to uh, to DJ. We can do some multi crew stuff maybe. No. And then uh I think yeah. we deserve a Nox race. A Nox race. But All I right. think we deserve a Nox race. Is it gonna be an Ursa Nox race? An Ursa Nox race. Well we we, we tried <laughs> to have Nox races <laughs> the other day. Right. And somebody wasn't really holding their own. 
Uh, uh, you know, but I mean, you ooh. can say whatever you want, but that I'd like to see though. anyone catch a free falling guy in the back of a uh, in the back of a cutlass and then make him fall out the side door again as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. I'm heading back to the uh, to the encampment. I'll find a Knox, and we'll use the same trackers yesterday, and we'll see just how uh, how DJ Knight stacks up because a certain Sergeant Gamble. Did you just crash into a rock? I did crash into a rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... You win this round, <laughs> rock, rock. I'll get you next time, rock. I'll get you next time, rock. I'll get you next time, rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DJ does the best claw that I know. Thank you. Thank you it's, very much. Oh, Thank my heart rate went so high that my vision started going blurry, and I've lost a bunch of oxygen that I didn't even realize. And that's, I yeah, suppose, one of the things about wearing this heavy yeah, you, suit. You, you, you can't, you can't just, uh, you can't just wail on that sprint. Yeah. So you know what I was saying with uh, to EKD about um, the uh, the HUDs on the ships. Uh, DJ just like walked past me, and he could see exactly what I could see oh, yeah. uh, on the vehicle. I'm, I'm right here. I'm right here. So on, the, on DJ, he can see exactly what I can see on the monitors right here on the uh, on the knobs. And uh, this will be really, really awesome in multi-crew ships where you have several people on the bridge. Maybe you have a guy on the captain's seat and he's looking at um, his, his helmsman. He's telling his helmsman, set course to this way. He wants to make sure that guy knows exactly what he's doing. He wants to be able to see the shields and the shield strength on the, uh, on the other person's seat. It's all going to stack up and make this game just that much more immersive because you can see everything. Everything that needs to be seen is seen in, in a very diegetic and very cinematic way. Um, right, let's get moving. You want to see a Nox? I mean, you want to find a Nox and then we'll uh, we'll race. All right. I was gonna lay down on that one. Just You're gonna it. lay down on mine. All right, here we go. I'll wait for you at the starting point. All right, cool. So for those who don't know who went with us yesterday, the uh, the Nox race is a true test of skill. Certain uh, certain sergeants before have uh, have tried and failed, but uh, <laughs> certain sergeants were also didn't have anything to do with the skill. Time. I mean, my Knox was sabotaged. I'm sure it was. Yeah. I'm sure it was. I watched it, it, it be sabotaged. It, it, it's, it's worth noting. <laughs> what can I say? Some people don't like my games. <laughs> All right, so All right. Right. Myers at the starting point. DJ's making his way there. I'm looking for the fire so I can find him. Uh, to your right, just over there. You, uh, right. I'm, the, I'm that target over there. Hit R. All right, so um, I've decided this time around that the starting point should be, you see there, that, that opening there between those two uh, devices? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be our starting point. Oh, here we go with the rules again. Well, I'm, I'm just saying that maybe we need like a, like a, a goal to go through, you know what I mean? So, um, all right, so the track is as follows. We go through, how about we go through there? You're making the rules now? Up to that point right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So go through there, go round that. And then that. we go left. To the prospectors. Then we hop into a prospector and then we go into space. And then we come back into atmosphere and back to the landing zone. How about that for a race? That's not a race. That is that is perfectly a race. That's not a race. That means step your game up if it's not a race. That's not a Knox race. Womp 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 <laughs> womp womp womp. I hear Charlie Brown's teachers uh, right now coming from Meyer. So I say that's how we do it. We start with the Knoxes, we go up there, we round that, we go back to the prospectors, and then we go into space. And then we come back down, back to the starting zone. Okay. All right. Should have brought board gamer. You, you want to? <laughs> you want to grab lunch? <laughs> you guys ready? ready to go? All right, we're ready to go. Okay. In five. I, no. Okay. D disco. You go. count it because I'm a cheater, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've gone already. Off. What? Of course, I'm going. All already. right. You're gonna. Crack. You started all the rules yesterday, and you oh. started all the time. See, I heard gunshots already. All right. So at least I managed to sue, uh, to survive there. Something somebody else couldn't do earlier. <laughs> All right, so they're back in. I mean, DJ's mounting up. DJ's got that cool red, red flight suit there. <laughs> Meyer is still looking for a knock. Ah, uh, found one. Where's the sun? Yeah, so put the sun at your back. Literally, Ow. literally just get to go ahead and stay in the starting area, so you're easy enough to find. Just put the sun at your back. I was going to be gone. All right, found you. Catch me. Okay. Well, ah! 
Not so I good went. without all your rules, are you, Meyer? I win by default. I was expecting to go over it. Uh, obviously, that Nox was faulty, and it was Nox my fault. But uh, what do your rules say about Ursas? What does my rule say about Ursas? I could get into an Ursa. I think that Nox is going to respawn in like a second, but I can get into an Ursa. No, there's a Nox right here. Uh, oh wait, no, that's a roar. <laughs> All right. So we haven't actually showed off the Ursa rover today no, no. either. Get in a Nox. Get in a Nox, but you just talked about rovers. Get in no, I see you crashed into a rover. Oh right, I see, I see. What's up, man? All right, I found one. And go. Come on, DJ. <laughs> that range. <laughs> Come on, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, must suck to get into a vehicle and get blown up, huh? It, it kind of does, yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> I'm here for you, bro. What? I'm here for you. That is so nice. All the revenge. <laughs> All right, okay, Gladiuses. Gladiuses. Since we're, since we're out of Nox at this point. No, it's respawn. <laughs> yeah, so thankfully the vehicles on this, on this map do respawn at a good rate, so we can okay. go ahead. Are you actually ready? Forward. Cool. All right. Yeah. So where are so, you? So so get get together. Uh huh. Put 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 the sun at your back. The sun at our back. So the opposite direction. Yes. So yes. Quickest way to the dark side is by putting the sun at your back. Yep. Go on, okay. You're both lined up. All right. Gamble. Count them off. In three, two, one, go. Remember, no weapons until you get to the dark side. No weapons. All right. Oh, that was close. No rocks until you get to the dark side. No rocks until they get to the dark side. Okay, now that that, that is something that I cannot be, that could promise. Be problematic. <laughs> we'll see. I feel like DJ is going the right direction. D DJ is definitely heading towards darkness, as is the objective of the race. <laughs> so am I. I'm going in the same direction. That's DJ over there. So there's more darkness to your right than there is to your left. There you go. This is, this is sheer favoritism by the commentator. Nonsense. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Let's get some third person views. Okay. Darn. I have to say, I really do appreciate the, uh, the, like, the lack of draw distance. You can see everything and anything. So long as it's, it's there and it's on the horizon, right, you right. can see it. Hey, go to first person. I don't trust you not crashing. <laughs> I would tell you what, but woo! That willy though, with no wheels. Uh, shoot your weapons real quick. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this game's down. It's just nothing's going on, they're just driving. <laughs> also, we're in a very, 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 very loud convention center. This it's is true. Huge. You know, I think we're going to run out of fuel. Uh, I'm 50%. I'm what about you? About 50. All right. We'll find out. So I think we can actually take these Noxes onto the onto the onto the uh, cat cutlass. Cutlass. There's no caterpillar. No, I keep I keep confusing the two words together. Oh, well, yeah. there's a caterpillar, but it's not. not it's, a bit busted, it's not flyable yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> True. Not without a good engineer, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, we could try doing yeah. it. Uh, we can put the. Uh, oh, there's oh, flip. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm alive. I'm good. I'm Locked good. Up. The vehicles are making sound. You just can't hear them over all the noise that's in the, the, in the audio feed. But yeah, we can we can put them into the uh, onto the onto the uh, cutlass, and then take them to the dark side. That will work. Yeah, yeah that's not that's not a Nox race though. No, but they can have a Nox duel instead in the dark side. Well, it's all right. DJ's leaving Meyer behind anyway. We can call it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Hey, it's not my fault. You see, I'm wearing heavy armor. You okay? All right, don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this is a great view though, I love it. I hear a whole lot of Charlie Brown's teachers talking. But I thought I had a rhyme. Hey. Hey. But it does oh. seem like you're actually going faster than I am. Like, uh. I'm yes. going, yeah, I'm going in the same direction as him. I have Afterburner on, and uh, he's breaking distance, but now I'm out of fuel. Oh! Are you sure? Oh, 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 doesn't oh. matter. Explosion. Explosion. I'm, I'm out of fuel. Explode. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> explode. <laughs> explode. Yeah, Meyer. Don't I'm, explode. You know you want to explode. I'm out of propulsion right now, so uh, it's just like it, it's lost it, its balance. Wah, 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 there we go. Wah, wah, wah. All right. Wah, wah, wah. All right. Let's go ahead and reset. Let's get okay. into gladiuses. Okay. Let's get to the dark side of gladiuses. Let's cool. do. Uh, let's do the same. Let's do the same gladius race we did yesterday. Okay. To the dark side. Land. First person to land in complete and utter darkness. Right. Okay. So go ahead and reset yourself, DJ. All right, go. So I found a gladius uh, right here. Obviously, the moon is far too large <laughs> to do this with Noxus. Yeah, because um, you know they, they do have um, finite fuel, and it's a question I did I did ask uh, Aaron Roberts the other day. Um, are we going to be able to refuel these vehicles planet side? And he said that uh, it might be an option because there are relief uh, relief shelters and stuff dotted yes. around the planet, and uh, we haven't seen a gas station or something or a variant of, of that kind of sort, but. Uh, it's not without being so hilarious. Yeah. You just see an outpost as the gas station. So uh, I think this is actually a good okay. time to okay. show off the interaction system while I'm in the cockpit of the Gladius. All right, so here, here's how this race works. Don't take off. Don't take off. Start. Start your engines. Right. Get ready. The race will will include the takeoff. Whoa. Okay. All right. Procedure. Okay. So, okay. Um, where are we? So engine goes on. There we go. It's all right. It's all right, DJ. Just, just hover close to the bottom. It's fine. And all right. There we go. So you're, you're going to take off, put the sun at your back, first person to land in the, in the complete, complete darkness okay. is the winner. Ready? Right, so that's the sun right there. No, sun to the back. You don't want to go towards the sun. It'll but take you twice as long. We'll turn around like uh, yeah. as we start, right? Yeah. Ready? Pole mm -hmm. position sounds. Oh. <laughs> Can you believe I'm not a pole position sound person? <laughs> Sun at your back. <laughs> what did you do to your ship already? I didn't do anything. It was there like this. It was like this when I got it. All right. So sun is not quite on my back. I need to turn like that. There we go. All right. Yeah. And those are our noxes over there as well. <laughs> so we know exactly where we're going. And of course, oh yes, uh, DJ is going higher, which is actually a good tactic because the further you are away from the surface of the planet, the faster, in fact, that you go. And uh, yeah. Come on, come on, let's go. All right. Are you sure you're gonna win, though? A darker. I didn't say anything. I just said let's go. Okay. I want my ship to work with me. That's all. Uh, I see this, and I, I remember the uh, the people to planet video, and just how unrealistic that seemed at the time. And now we can just like fly up and fly down. There are no invisible walls, and it all works. And like, I haven't really seen any pop in whatsoever. What about yourself? Like, no, no texture popping or anything. It's ridiculous. DJ, give me something to look at other than complete darkness. <laughs> That's kind of the idea, though, right? <laughs> no. Let's get into this complete Getting darkness. Getting complete darkness. But I'm trying to put it on a TV show here. Trying to give some cool ruining the sun at my back. The failure right. is absolute. All right, let's start heading down. Okay. We're now making our descent towards Nightmar. And you don't get the same points for the same joke twice. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, though. Check it out. So the speed of sound, and oh, this is a question I should have asked, right? So the speed of sound is like, what, 340 meters per second. Right now I'm going about 660, but I know that we do get go slower when, we, when we're closer to the ground. I guess I'll find my answer when we get lower, but I was going to ask if there were any plans on like sonic booms and stuff. Uh, they're investigating. I've already asked that question. Okay. Not for 3 -0. Not for 3 -0. right on. They have to see how that would affect sending endless sonic booms to everybody's client <laughs> overloading the memory the audio buffer right sonic. 
Sonic Boom. <laughs> Just have that audio. Oh, give me, give me that shot with the contrails. Oh you yeah. Have, that. Yeah, you had a head-on shot. There, okay, know. like that. You right? lost it. Sorry. I can zoom out a bit. And then there you go. Yeah. We're making good TV here, people. <laughs> uh, making good TV. television. All right. All right. I'm gonna start landing now. So follow, oh. follow him down. Whoever's behind, follow him down. Like try to land in the same place if you can. Right. We're we're getting a lot of different stats in the chat of the speed of sound, though, Meyer. Oh, I, I googled it before I asked the question. I believe it's 340. Yeah, so yeah can you guys see each other? You, have you found each other? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'll see you in hell, DJ. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> right. Oh man. So that is the disadvantage of going into orbit in order to get to the dark side, is you can't quite tell when you're landing. Now, Meyer, are you going to be able to successfully land? Yeah, I'm using this as a rangefinder so I can see exactly <laughs> what... Oh no! <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, I'm alive. I'm alive. Lucky. She's Lucky. just a scratch. All right. She's just a scratch. It's All only right. a flesh. Go ahead and land and dismount. Okay. Uh, landing, landing, <laughs> landing. And dismount. I'll leave the engines on so we can have some light too. I'm sure, like the way, like the lighting is actually reflecting on the textures of the planet. It's it looks beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, like it everything. Does. Yeah, it just. Every single thing you do in this game is a screenshot. You see, I'm not even damaged, you know, not not, a, not even a scratch. Talking on last smack. Turn yeah. your flashlight on. My flashlight. Inspect, sure. inspect your ship. Inspect my ship. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Inspect your ship. Landing gear on the ground. Awesome. Seamless. <laughs> Unscratched. Hey, so uh, seeing as you're still in the Gladius, how about a game of cat and mouse? So I'm going to come back to uh, go back to Daymar. No, okay. no, no. Let like DJ come to you. Daymar. Sorry? Let, 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 let DJ come to you. Okay. Just, let's just go, uh, let's, let's go uh, Blair Witching. Go Blair Witching? Okay. I like the plumes of dust and stuff you can see as well in the atmosphere. It's like going to do another thing. Yes. I think it might not be complete darkness either because we can see just yeah, a bit well, of the sun there too. All right. Let's go with this. What, what is that? What is Check what? it out. Right in front of you. In front of me? I think that's the sunset. Yeah, I believe it's just the sun. Yeah. So there's not going to be a okay. reset on this server because uh, they're in a separate server that the crowd is in right now. Right. So All right, let's go back to your ship. Take a look at your ship. DJ should be able to lock onto your ship. Yeah, all, all the systems are in, um, so uh, he should be able to, to 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 see it even if I'm not inside it. The same way he could see the no we could see the noxes when we were taking off before. So you have to track Th That being said, though, else. yeah, I'm I'm not sure the uh, the exact range. Of the uh, of the radar itself, or if you need to go ahead and increase the strength of it or something, because like you can do, you can do all that. You can uh, go inside the power settings and now I'll go ahead and give it a shot. Actually, <laughs> did you just pass out? Yep. Walk <laughs> on to the strongest power source. It should be Meyer's spaceship. <laughs> you gotta get a reading on that ship up or down. All right. So where are we? Where are we? I wonder if you have to be within a certain range to see it. Cause yeah, there must be a, there must be a maximum range on the radar, which is over there. Um, let's see. I've not really given this component system much love, to be honest. There's a lot of stuff to see on it. Um, there are now several apps within the uh, within the HUD to get you to your different things. So like, there's an entire shield app. You can change just how much power that goes into it. It shows you how much it needs. So like, I need to put the power all the way here to make sure that the shields are at 100%. I can put them on standby if I wanted to and stuff. And that's really awesome. Um, and those are, of course, the two shields. And you can also you can also turn them on and off individually. Um, let's see. What else do we have? We have uh, weapons. What else? Comms. What the heck is that? Okay, so this must be our radar. So yeah, DJ. Nice. Is, we found it. So DJ is now 70 kilometers away. That's awesome. I did not know this was here. So I can turn this off, but I'm not going to. And you can also cycle it and refresh. Oh. So you're, you're close, DJ. You're close. 
Just keep going that way. Mm. Keep going the way you are. That's really cool. That is pretty exciting. I'm really excited about that, actually. Because we're out of, like, um, there must be a way in that case to, uh, to zoom out on that thing. Because, you know, we, we're able to see you on this thing, too. Here, that's really cool. I, like I don't think you're going straight at him because you're, you're, you're approaching pretty close, pretty slowly here. Yeah. Change your vector a little bit. There you are. Change your vector a little bit. Oh, yeah, this is slower. Put your vector, Victor. <laughs> yeah, you got to change sharper than that. It shouldn't be taking nearly this long to, to go 57 miles. Kilometers. Even. <laughs> <laughs> I'm American. <laughs> Uh, I'm tempted to go see what what other functions we have here, but I don't. Oh, no, this is the only way we have. This is the only clue we have. These. There oh, you go. There you go. Okay, yeah. change Boosting. your vector until it goes faster. Seems to be like more in this direction. Yeah, it's speeding up. This is exciting. <laughs> well, it's, this is the well, worst game of hide and seek. It's exciting to me that this works so well. Yeah, I would have never expected it to have that much detail on yeah. how far I am away. Are you able to uh, to click the eject button in the uh, in the interface? Uh, uh, in the interface. Um, Remember, there's no parachutes. Straight yes. down. Yeah, you it, have to look it, straight down. Straight up. Like straight looking into your lap. Too. It should be in there. It was. That's, that's where it was yesterday. Okay. Was that a question from chat? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, so I, if I that's actually how the uh, the first drop and release started. Just right Because I looked yeah. up and yeah. I was like, yeah, let me eject. That right, was not DJ, a good look. You're coming up. You see him yet? You have him on your target. Uh, you should be able to target him by now. Not yeah. I think it might be a max range of either 10 or 15 kilometers. All right, you stopped moving closer now. There you go. You will see, because like, uh, I'll, I'll up here. So, uh, Jared, there we go. what did you guys do on stream today? Oh, we flew around in the dark for about 35 minutes. <laughs> and it was awesome. It was awesome. It's awesome to me. <laughs> it's awesome to me that the, um, the, the, the MFDs work so well. Um, it, it's, I, I love it. Okay, so let, what else do we have? Because you can see me right there. So okay. We, you got them now? Yeah, we have comms. Yep. Okay. I wonder, if I turn comms off, am I invisible now? I am hailing you! <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome! Look at the bottom screen, maybe you can see it! Uh, I, I think my uh, my throttle is linked to my multifunction. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind then, never mind. Don't crash. Just, yeah, don't crash. Yeah. Oh no, it's, it's still in the multifunction here. I'm hailing him! We're trying <laughs> to set up a Bluetooth awesome. connection <laughs> between amazing. the two ships. <laughs> oh man! I Bluetooth 2947. <laughs> Alright. All right. So, Meyer, go ahead and get out of your ship. Get out of my ship, okay. Oh, yeah. Very little night fight. Assuming DJ can, can land. Oh. I, already got, I already got my landing gear up. Okay. More successfully go. than he did last time. Well, last time it was landing at a high speed. That was not a good one. It look. was falling without it's style. style. <laughs> without style. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Look at that. You, you see the ship down there with the ship lights on. Give, give me a little, yeah, yeah. Uh, the way you contrast against Crusader is amazing, too. Power off. Okay. Get out. Alright, we're, we're going to do, do an old-fashioned nightmare duel here. <laughs> so, you guys come together. Use your lights to find each other and come together. Turn your light on. There we go. Yep. <laughs> All right. So come together. All right. Now put your go back to back. Like put, put, your, put your backs to each other. All right. Back to each other. All right. Turn off your lights. And I want you all to run for ten paces. 
Okay. I'm going to say, I'm going to go set. I'm going to say go. You take 10 paces in the opposite direction. Turn around. You can use your lights. You can not use your lights. It's entirely up to you. Right. You have to find each other and kill each other. Ready? Okay. Right. Go. One, two, three, four. I'm counting out. Five. Keep going. Oh, man, Six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. You said ten paces. I was like, all yeah, right, Yeah, but cool. I'm going to count them out. All right. So do they use their lights? Do they not use their lights? Oh, not. Well, I can see. Probably end up with them walking in separate directions. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're bringing you only the best nighttime gameplay. Now, other so game streams, they're like, let's let's show off a bunch of color and a bunch of environments. I'm like, no, let's let's do our gameplay. Oh, there we go. In complete black. Some action here. No, we know. Heal! I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> is Millie in? Millie is in. Okay, all right. Punch him in the face. There Don't we go. Heal! Do it! <laughs> Reload! <laughs> Disappear into the night, DJ. <laughs> I am the knight. So I think you only have one mag, I so am. you're now screwed. All right, so now it's a race to the ships because <laughs> <laughs> That's right. we're out of ammo. Okay, yeah, race to your ships. Finish each other off. Uh oh, this could be a problem. I don't know what you're talking about. I took off like very slightly. Aww. <laughs> Can you not get in your ship, buddy? <laughs> Do you not have a ride, bro? Oh, uh, somebody didn't turn their engine off. Yeah, um, my oh, ship is slightly higher. Somebody didn't turn their engine <laughs> off. <laughs> Can I? I'd worry less about your Gladius and more about his Meyer. What? What? Oh! <laughs> and I died in the Gladius. You bled out. Blood loss. <laughs> Ow! Yes. I had the yes. advantage and still died. <laughs> my soul. It's a flame. Oh. Victory is mine. <laughs> but now you're stuck on the dark side of the moon. Oh, Deal well. With it. Oh, I All mean. right, go ahead and reset yourself, Meyer. All right. Okay. <laughs> we'll stay here until the next uh, swap, out, swap out, and then we'll go back to the player server. Okay. So, uh, folks watching at home, I'm sad to, to formally announce that the Gladius is less combat capable than a man with no ammo. <laughs> <laughs> and no weapon. Oh, man. Don't oh. bring a gladius to a gunfight <laughs> if you're bleeding from every orifice. <laughs> That's a valid point. So do you want to do that Nox race right now, that one loop? Sure. Yeah. Are, are, you, uh, are you man enough or alien enough, as, a, as the case may be, seeing really? as an really? alien bike? Is that how you try to challenge me to a Nox race? Yes. Are you man enough? Of course not, man. Oh, or alien enough. Okay. All right, so there's a Nox right over there. You know where the starting point is, right? I'm not gonna find it. Oh snap! So there again is the uh, is the Ooh. stamina system again. So I think you're you're you're, you're wailing on your on your sprint too much. Yeah, that keeps coming up. Yeah. Remember, just mouse mouse wheel up, so you don't you're not having to hit the sprint so much. Yeah. You must manage your physicality. You must manage, especially in the heavy armor because it's huge. All right, there we go. So I'm going back to I'm going to the starting points over there. You can follow me. You only adopted the sprint. <laughs> I was born in it. Okay, so DJ's made it to the starting point. Now Myers made it to the starting point. I was Usain Bolt before. I was. Okay. Anyway. So. See, I was Usain Bolt. <laughs> okay. All right. Now this is this is a fighting race. Yes, this is a death race. So again, uh, the rules are simple. Uh, through this through this gate. Round that loop and back. Okay, hurry up because we're doing the swap right now. Yes. Okay, uh, count them down, Gamble. Yep. All right, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try to do it your way. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going. You, you can try shooting me. I don't think you're gonna hit me though. I'm giving you this this uh, advantage you right here. Look out for the rock. <laughs> Watch out for that rock. Meyer with a very comfortable lead. DJ choosing to stay behind and try to use his weapons as the great equalizer. Weapons. 
my only weakness. <laughs> Whoa! No, 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 no. Okay, throttle yes, down. Yes, 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 yes. And there we go. So that's what Gamble wasn't doing before. Whenever it he was exactly the same experience that I had. No, but you throttled down to, to, to recover, but you didn't. All right. Where is that finish line? Oh, there it is. Do a bit of a serpentine swerve right here to avoid those last few shots. Got him, DJ. Oh, so, so close. Oh, come on. Throttle down, throttle down. Oh, <laughs> right at the finish line. Ah, dude. And That's the way to save the day. Through the goalpost. Damn it. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations, yeah. DJ. <laughs> All right. You Epic victory. So, so Knox, death th Knox death race rankings over the course of the last three days. Meyer, DJ Knight, a speaking spell that's missing its batteries, <laughs> and Sergeant Gamble. <laughs> Okay. All right, so we're doing everybody else? Mm hmm. So exit to mid kick the camera then. Yeah, yeah, so go ahead and, and, and jump into the other server, guys. Oh, I forgot I'm muted. Well, sorry about that. Sorry, you didn't miss anything. I said some swear words. <laughs> all right, so, so what are we doing, gentlemen? All right, well, you want us to find some gladiuses, gladius. right? But the issue is uh, everybody has the gladiuses. Word, do they? Well, I would imagine so. All right. Cutlass? Cut, I think it's Cutlass releasing catch time then. Uh, all right. Somebody's in here. And somebody's in there. But there's one Gladius over there, but I think DJ just got it, right? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yep, that's me. That is you. So I can go over Okay, DJ. Colors. You take us on a tour of the moon. Woo! I'll try and follow. I love that button. That like Just like we were talking about the other day. Yeah. To how, if you wanted to, you could actually pull that and then look around and work with the interaction system. Yeah. I actually set a hotkey for engage systems mm -hmm. so that quick engage systems option is there you yeah have to set it on the host so that is a beautiful uh like a lot of people fight. love the vr and a lot of people love being able to diegetically like look around and look at your ship and press the buttons yeah and a lot of people don't but i love how like uh that they cater for both and uh even with the gladius you can turn on that ship that um the same at the same speed if not faster than in the previous build at the touch of a button all right, DJ's going to take us on a tour of some of the canyons here at Damar. Let's do it. Like that. <laughs> Meyer, meanwhile, is loading up into the ever-popular uh, Aurora. 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 The Aurora. Aurora. Hey. Aurora. <laughs> Ursa Knox. <laughs> Ursa Knox. <laughs> with I'm coming, not, coming with the brand new Aurora. Aurora. I'm not doing so good with the words at the moment. All right, now, <laughs> the Aurora doesn't have the calm system, so I can't, like, uh, pinpoint uh, DJ. But I'll go towards it. I think he's the only one going towards the sun. There. Probably player 12. Yeah, no, but uh, that only shows up in the Gladius's. Uh, ah, gotcha. It would help if I put my landing gear down. This just feels awesome. Just it looks awesome. Through a canyon. I 
with somebody's aura. Just get low. Just get low. Bounce with it. Bounce with it. You going towards the sun? If you go towards the sun, you should be going towards CJ. Yeah, I see him. There he is, Eddie. Yeah, I'm not going to catch up, but I want to follow his route. Because I've seen some really awesome canyons. And uh, because, well, I mean, there is a lot of randomness to the planet. It is procedurally assisted in design. So, like, uh, a lot of this is, um, well, well, made by code. And then the designers come in and then flush it out and go, hmm, this would be a nice spot for a canyon, you know, that kind of thing. I know. Well, actually, the canyons are generally created on their own. Right. It, it's as we've as we've discussed several times in ATV. Yeah. The planet is procedurally generated. Right. It, then we go in and we explore the planet ourselves as yeah. explorers, just as our our fictional NPCs would, and we put outposts and everything in the places that we feel these characters would. <laughs> it's, like that. it's very much we are create we are exploring these planets just as the the, the players would and putting outposts there. That's but no, we don't awesome. go through. We don't generally go through and create a canyon. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we've done it at some point, you know, experimentally and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. we'll do it at some point in the future with the specific stuff. But for these three moons, they the, the ter as far as the terrain goes. I really enjoyed seeing the ATV where they kind of covered uh, the specific canyon. Ooh. Of course, you had to change the cameras yes. as, just as I blew up. <laughs> yes. That's the perfect time to change the yes. cameras, though. <laughs> but, I may not be able to know words, but I know exactly when Meyer's going to screw up. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, but Even no, before was, he does. It was a beautiful thing watching the ATV where they were just showing where the pad would go and seeing how the ground would kind of work and where they would place a landing pad and then showing how a settlement would grow around a, a specific spot on the planet. So that was uh, a great look at how they're making decisions on where outposts go and why. All right, I'll find you yet. Like this would be a horrible place for an outpost. Look at these rocks. Yeah. Unless these rocks are mineable on this planet. Unless like, they're All right, mineable, cool. Yeah. Then we can, like, this would be a decent place for a small landing pad for something like an Aurora or a Prospector. Give us some first person again. This feels so much better to, to have a host. Meyer is acquiring his own gladius. Yep. I was just uh, admiring again the fact that I can get. Uh, <laughs> I just love the ship so much. I, I love everything about it. I love the more I use it, the more stuff I learn about it. All right, let's turn to the song. And uh, if, if if I'm ever quiet, it's because I'm just like speechless sometimes, man. Like uh, literally, quiet, literally. Like uh, previously, when you were approaching ships, you could only do one thing: you could get inside the ship. Now you can choose to open the canopy, let's say, you know, like you want to role play, like, okay, your commander's coming, open the canopy for them. You can pull the ladder down separately, you can then go in, you can then, you, or you can choose to make all those things happen at once. It's, it's, it, it's all just, it just, ah, it all comes together to make a really, really compelling game. That's one of the things I really dig about seeing the, uh, the inner thought system so far. Yeah. Is that there's so much RP capability, mm. because for stuff just like that, like, if somebody's a commander and they come up, you're yeah. going to want to open up the kind of canopy a little bit. Show yeah. them, uh, look, here, there you go. It's open. Hop in. Yeah. Whenever you're ready to go, go do what you need to do. Exactly. So maybe you want to open the canopy, canopy and salute him as he's getting into the ship. So, like, that's a really, it seems like a small thing at first. Yeah. But the role play is going to be lovely with that. And just speaking about the role play as well, I mean, like, when I opened up the, the comm systems and I opened up the hail, like, uh, they've mentioned before in, in an ATV as well, that's Around the Verse, it's the weekly uh, TV show that they do, um, showing new content. They, they actually mentioned that you'll be able to go ahead and call players, and uh, I'm sure it's not in right now, but like uh, with picture in picture and all that kind of stuff, think uh, Star Trek and stuff like that. Um, I can't wait to see what they yeah, do with the holograms. Yeah. Right, and role playing being really popular right now, there's, oh, yeah. there's it, it's gonna be a great, great game to do a, a large amount of role playing. Mm. I want to see a room where I can have a holographic, like, gigantic, just, here, look, talking to this gigantic room and just be larger than life. Like, a room like this, like this hall, just to have a gigantic hologram and then kind of show 
somebody else in the universe looking at that person so you can see that it's going on right now. Like that, hey, DJ. I'm super amped about that. Why, 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 don't you, why don't you do a, a 180 and head back towards Meyer? Cool, right, go. I'll make sure that I'm going in the right direction as well. Yeah, Meyer, go towards the sun. DJ, put the sun to your back. Cause we're, we're, head, we're about to hit the server reset anyway. Let's see if we can get a little combat out of this one. Oh. He is 12. Oh. That's a pretty large selfie stick right there. DJ has his uh, trusty X52. Is that oh, X56? They're cut. They're Drake Cutlass. They're gonna fly up in out of Atmo into orbit, where Meyer is going to. Uh, well, he's gonna remove himself from the Cutlass, and DJ is going to attempt to recover him before he splats on the ground and dies. All right, so it's still on, so it should hover. So I can come back and open the door without opening all the doors. Right. Because last time you fell out of the side door. I did, I did. Good shout, good shout, yeah. Uh, we had, th we had three, uh, three, three attempts yesterday. On the third attempt, Gamble here successfully caught Meyer mid free fall <laughs> but the side door of the cutlass was open <laughs> and Meyer went through the rear door and right out the side door so we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't avoid that this time so we are flying with only the rear door open Gamble is taking the cutlass into orbit Gamble are you, is, are you really DJ Gamble? hey DJ give us, give us <laughs> hey, some barrel DJ rolls DJ give us some barrel rolls so we can see at, at Meyer Meyer look out the window there you go that is, that is sickening. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing we don't have a pre-show where I'm required to talk. Because I'm doing a really good job with the talking right now. I've got talking down pat. <laughs> Do a barrel roll, DJ. Just yank, yes. Mm. That is crazy. Let's do a slower barrel roll. It's good, gentle. So for those who haven't seen okay. this before, this is the new um, Drake Cutlass. The new okay, there it one. is. Yeah. Oh. There it is. Let's see what it looks like from Meyer's perspective. Oh, you can see the... Yeah, don't go cuts. all the way through because you might get... No, let's try it. Okay. <laughs> That's a devious oh, way. Let's try it. Right. Let's see what happens. Look out the window. All right, so uh, there we go. So go ahead. A little, little higher, a little higher. So we, and stop. Yeah. Come yeah. to a complete stop. So Meyer, are you powering down? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> did I die? Did I die? Uh, yes. How did I die? Oh, I was. Uh, take two. <laughs> Come down and get him. All right. This worked so well yesterday. <laughs> you see what I have to work with. Does this suit have EVA? I don't even think it does. You yeah, might, that, you that might. Was, that was the suit DJ was in. You might want to jump out of the side door. Out of the side door? No, we yeah. jumped out of the back door last time. No. He was the one jumping out. No, at the, at the time that we actually succeeded, he was jumping out of the side door. Not that that matters. And yeah, but success, the times but that you didn't succeed, you were still jumping out of the rear door. And exactly. That's, that's the reason why I didn't succeed. 
Yeah, but we're trying to keep <laughs> the side doors closed. I mean... No, you can jump out of the back door. And okay. we've, we've jumped out of the back door and not died before. I wonder if that's because we were out in the atmosphere. Maybe his armor was broken. Maybe you've been shot. So let's see... How far am I from the spawn point? Let's follow some of the stuff on the radar. Uh, yeah. Do you not have to use the radar? I never bother with radar. I honestly don't know how the radar works on the cut list. I've never used it. Oh, before. there we go. Oh, nice. I like how not everything was visible. Yeah. Like, there is a max range. Um, and obviously, like, uh, you can see more looking down yeah. than when we're actually down on the ground. Because there's no way that uh, I would have popped up like that if you were actually like along the um, parallel with the ground like you are when you're trying to get me. Remember? All right, where is he? I'm looking around. Move around. I'm That's looking. True. I'm looking. Although yes, it was Meyer that had such tremendous trouble with the ramp on the cutlass yesterday. Wasn't yeah, it? the the ramp of death. <laughs> true. Popping so people in the air, asterisk yeah. style. For some people... Oh, I see him. And the cutlass ramp might be your old Wapo. Can you back into me a little bit, just so I don't have to run so much? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Stay. Yeah. Wait for it, wait for I'm it. I'm waiting. All right, let me, like, get down. Engine off. Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right, Meyer. You can do this. You haven't had the best luck with ramps. Uh, ramps. Back up it. <laughs> Why did it have to be ramps? Let me go. I'm in. There you go. All right. Whoa. Once more into the breach. Oh, goodness. All right. So we, we mentioned before how, like, this ship is meant to be, like, a drop ship. And uh, I believe this is the go-to ship of 3.0. When we do get the patch eventually, and we have trade, and we have combat, and we have the economy system, and all that kind of stuff, this will be my ship of choice because not only do you have seats here so you can go rescue players who are stranded on the planet but you also have the cargo bay so you can put your cargo boxes here for those missions as well and you also have not one not two but you have three whoa did we just take off no it's powered down oh, okay sorry. But, but we have three different crew positions on this ship Later as well, you'll be able to put your guns and store them away over here. You can have like a collection, if you will, of like rare stuff. Uh, you've got beds here for yourself and for NPCs to use. Um, you've got a turret as well uh, for, for not only helping the gunners in the front attack, but also to help defend you from behind too. It's, it is the ship of 3.0 in my opinion. Like uh, for, everything that that, for, uh, for everything that build's going to give us, I think that this will be the best serving ship and the ship of choice for many, in fact. Which is why I now have one. That's why I'm sure many people now have oh, one. Oh yeah. Hey, give us the give us the cockpit view, the the pilot view rather. View the pilot. Uh, seven. There you go. So the throttle is affecting the cameras. Right. Whoa! So as you were pitching like that, I'm running out. I'm running out. I passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I passed out. I'm unconscious on the floor. <laughs> Meyer, get up. Oh, okay. All right. Love Let's... it. That makes me happy. So I'm okay. Just, I'm that's, sure that's probably high enough. Yeah. All right. All right. So Lower down. Come to a complete stop. Stop. So either you're going to have to open all doors. Yeah, because we didn't open them before, so you yeah. have to open all doors. Because you have ownership. So I'm sure uh, that when, when uh, the patch does get released and you can invite people to your party, then this won't be much of an issue. But for the sake of the demo, 
um, you know, they're assuming that nobody is in a party together, so they're showing off the locking system and stuff. Yeah, just use the interaction system, DJ. Yeah, it's on the, the left. The throttle is affecting my mouse controls. Great. Open exterior. Should be good. Nope. I need you to get, to, to get out of your seat altogether so you can do it because otherwise yeah. the side doors will be open too. I gotta go and adjust my uh, my throttle controls. Yeah, no worries. Foot. Open up. Open your gates. Oh, yeah. Thank you kindly, sir. Right. Uh, make go sure that DJ welcome. is go. back in the car. Go, Meyer, no, go. Go now. Why now? Actually, go down. No, no, go no, down. no. Go no. Down. You won't be able to find him. If, yeah, if I go now, he won't be able to find me. He has to, he has to like, uh, tilt first, right? Okay, so three, two, come on. Okay. All right, straight down. Straight down. Okay, I'm ready. I've been training my whole life for this. Hoorah! <laughs> Jump! Oh, no! <laughs> All right. I have so many regrets. <laughs> <laughs> All the regrets. All right, there you are. All right, so I need to go right. Okay. Oh, left. Uh, you need to like a uh, straight right, I think. Uh, All right. You're you're straight, you're maybe maybe it's away. left, right farther away. Yeah. Farther, yeah, remember everything's mirrored. And you're in the dark side. Yeah, you're going. You're getting farther away. It's weird to see the trails. Yeah. So you're still you're, you're just too far away from me. Yeah, he yeah. flew away from him instead of towards him. This is looking like a well, I mean, just turn the screen. Look. I believe it's that way. I have complete and total. <laughs> there you go. You're coming. Co you're coming closer to him. Confidence. And your skill as a pilot. You're, you're going in pretty fast. Yeah, you're going down. You're, 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 below, you're way below him at this point. Go. Pull to your left. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, we actually successfully did this yesterday. <laughs> I don't want to alarm you right now, uh, DJ, but the floor is uh, getting a bit larger. <laughs> Should be getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> come over here, come, come. <laughs> it's weird. I'm, like, I'm trying to base myself on the trails. Nope. Uh, look around. Yeah, yeah. Look around. Reduce your speed, and and, and I am sure. already at the lowest speed. Alright, you seem to have disappeared now entirely. I don't see yep. your contrails or anything. Look down. Right, so you got the... Hey. Uh, don't point at the ground. Point up. You're, you're below him at this point, I think. Look up. I was trying to look at him, have him look at the ground so no, I could he's, see uh, landmark. I think Myers further down on him. Yep. The ground My Myers it. falling right, so with like see. between 20 to 23 meters a second right now. Alright. You're still... Meyer, can you take a look at Crusader? See where you are? All right, DJ, Down. can you, like... Great, 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 great. So we got three there. I think he's more to uh, to your port side. He's, he's using the, uh, the craters to try and... Uh, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to see what craters he's looking at. That's a lot of craters. It is. I think, uh, is it those three? Like they make an L, like a like a one, two, three, and then they have the the canyons. All right, so there we go. So those. But sadly, I, I can't I can't see you anymore. Yeah, I'm I'm way too far down. Anyway, yeah. or you're you're way further down there. Yeah, this is where a distress beacon would uh, would uh, would uh, would it work quite nicely. Actually. So should we try again then instead of? Uh, no. Well, are you looking for the for the com thing? I was gonna. I think that only works for for ships. 
I'm in a shit. As in, I'm not I was going to try. I yeah. was going to try, though. Right. You'd never know me. How long did it take for that Red Bull guy to like uh, to <laughs> die? Forever. So you're, you're, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a horrible death. <laughs> I don't think he died. You're gonna die hey. slow. Who's that? Tilt down. Can you, uh, and, can and, you and fire your guns a little bit, DJ? Maybe it's something that Meyer can spot. Meyer, look, look, look around on the over the horizon. Over the horizon. Okay. Keep firing, DJ. This is a great view, though, I have to say. You know? <laughs> it's the best view of death. You're going to die. Ever. Oh, well. <laughs> if you're going to die, I better include All right. cardio. <laughs> All right, I think, I think that's probably it for this experiment. All right. Yep. All right. Oh, man. We do that from yesterday. Does it work? <laughs> I thought it was a different one. All right, so how about like a, a, a duel, like with the gladiuses? Like uh, we saw those canyons, but like, uh, how about like a bit of cat and mouse? So you have five minutes to catch me. Or in, or in fact, we could do it so, um, how about this? We have one minute each. So like uh, for one minute, you're chasing me with the gladius, you're trying to take me out. Mm -hmm. After that minute, then you have, to, uh, then you turn around and I start chasing you with the gladius instead. All right, cool. Yeah. So you're going to that one, so I'll look for the other one. Which spawns somewhere. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, I think it's somewhere over here. Yeah, it's right there behind the, uh, the caterpillar. So, Gamble, you can still sit comfortably knowing that you're the first and quite possibly the last <laughs> person to successfully release and catch somebody from orbit well, for now. You know, they always sing high praises of the Dutch-Canadian space uh, authority, you know, like uh, it's to be proven. <laughs> what? Well, it's, 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 hard, it's harder than it looks, though. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, and before I approach the ship, I just wanted to show off again the, the run speed, because I always do... Somebody, somebody pulled the wire, that's why we lost the sound. We're back. Right. All right. Do you want to be mouse or should I be mouse first? Oh, man, I didn't think that was you. Yeah, it's me. I was only about two, to wreck that thing. There are only two gladiators. All right, you be the mouse. There we go. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. Oh, no. Four, I'll, just, I'll just fly past you, Wade. And then when I fly past you, you turn around. So, go. Uh, where are you? I don't see you. You must be... Above you. Above me? Oh, I see you. Okay. At the next reset, I have something specific for you to do. Okay. All right, cool. This came from chat. All right. So you have until the next reset here. Okay. So I'm going to fly past like this. I'm going to then turn around. Uh-huh. Like so I'm going to go back towards you. And once you pass me... And once I pass on. you, now you chase me. All right. Come at me. Did I uncouple? I uncouple. I feel like I'm going to win. <laughs> oh man, that sound, that flight pass sound though, right? I think it might be more fun if uh, Disco, you you you, uh, you call for the cat and mouse change yourself, as opposed to waiting for some. Uh, I have no idea what you're doing. So so, so it's cat and mouse, right? <laughs> so he's chasing me. He's trying to take me out. I'm the mouse. I'm running away, right? All right. So kill him, DJ. But like, uh, you can call it so I can then be. I'm trying to overconvolute this with a lot of rules again. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> whoa! I play this all the time with my friends. 
There's actually some people asking in chat how the Gladius is behaving uh, in atmosphere compared to in space. Ooh. All right. Well, I can answer that actually. Um, really well. It, it's it's similar to its uh, to the way it flies in space, but also very different as well because um, it is using its like its uh, atmospheric engines for this. Um, like a. Uh, there's a lot of turbulence. As I'm flying over the surface of the, of the planet, I'm having to use um, strafe up in order to keep me up a bit, you know, just so I don't smash right into, into the canyon. I mean, it is 2947, uh, so uh, it fl it's very stable. However, the moment the ship gets damaged, and I'm not damaged just yet, just saying, DJ. Um, <laughs> Man, I will ram you. <laughs> things do get a lot more, uh, more difficult. You have to start counter steering. You have to. You have to make sure that uh, you you, uh, you roll. A little touch and go there. A little, a little bit. You roll to ensure that your ship uh, doesn't uh, well turn into a rock and that kind of stuff. I mean, like uh, we can stop this for a second. No, you can. Okay, so that DJ can shoot me and I can demonstrate. See? Oh, really? Really? It's like that? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm I got you. I'm just saying. I got you. Uh huh. I own this game. <laughs> I got you. All right. But I do love these canyons. This is actually one thing that I, I, I've managed to take off early in my bucket list, and that's to find canyons like these and to just soar through them with like a ship. Okay, um, I have countermeasures, so you can use missiles if you want, DJ. You, you are missiles free. Maya is just throwing the charity at DJ right now. Oh, yeah. no! Oh no! <laughs> Blackout, though, get out! Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Clutch. Having trouble there? <laughs> MLG, DJ. Not at all. Not at so, all. So, um, in DJ's defense, actually, he's man he's having to um, overcome what I was talking about earlier with the fact that uh, having a damaged ship because he managed to clip the canyon. Um, so, like, he's blacking out now because his turns are a bit more severe. Oh, what are you doing? Nothing. It didn't work. I was trying to get you out of the ship. I was like, get out. <laughs> you just tried to reject this me. This is all them. Get out. Shut up. All right. So you're the mouse now. The glove is on the other foot. What? Okay. What? <laughs> yeah, Meyer's going after you now, DJ. Oh, I noticed. I like to use uh, lag tips for this, even though uh, some people in chat might be saying, Ooh. Meyer, change to uh, change the leading tips. Um, I've always uh, flown and flown like this, so even though I'm not terribly great, it's my preferred way of firing. I do have to say that I do in I do think that it's improved considerably. Okay. From Switch!
Make sure you turn your light off before you get into the seat. And the lights for this will be coming on in a second. You're going to ride this out. But no, we need you to activate the turret. Ah, okay. Yeah. So um, when DJ activates the turret, actually, you'll be able to see on this screen right here that uh, the power usage and requirement will also increase because uh, when you activate the guns in this patch, just having them on uses up some energy. So if your ship isn't able to use that energy, then you know, like, uh, you need to turn them off to make sure that you're not wasting anything because you have finite fuel and all that other stuff as well. So, so. so fire, go ahead and go to third person so we see if we get the turret activated. Okay. Uh, uh, the, so turret the turret has rolled up. DJ, do you have control of the turret? No. Oh, uh, it's turning. Oh, that's part of it. It is turning. So left, oh, left, left. Lovely. Oh, you're, yeah, you have to get we're out of the armor. We're still in the armor system. Yeah. Okay. Let's I was going to get out and use the railroad. Now we wanted to, the request was to see the turret. Okay. All right, cool. uh, weapons free. Try it. I can't left. turn behind us. Left click. See if you can shoot. Go into third person. See if you can shoot. Nope. Oh, I think I know why actually. Um, if I go back into first person, you can see here, guys, that uh, maybe, just maybe, if we go into. Uh, or is it like uh, energy and then components? Uh, snap. It's not there anymore. But like, you should be able to if, um, turn on the guns. The guns. I, I don't just got done turning all the guns. Okay, nice. Like that's the first thing I did when I sat down. Was like, give me right. the guns. Because the turret's moving. And now components are missing. Right. So you, you turn them on. Well, you have a reticle now, DJ. He does have the reticle, and we are outside are the armistice zone. I think you need to know what the, the maybe the firing button is different in the. Uh, I wonder if it's because I put to the turret. Well, you yeah, just entered the armistice zone, so. You have to play. Weapons are all mine. I mean, let's go find the other Ursa and try again. And then maybe after that, what I'll do is that we'll, we'll, we'll change places because our... our uh, okay, no, that's, that's the Ursa. That's another Ursa. Yeah, right? why don't you yeah. do that? Why don't you trade places because yeah. DJ's been having trouble with this throttle. Okay. That's what his controls up. Right. I'll step back here and then... That's what happens. We try to get out of the seat at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> After you, my lady. Okay. Can I? Okay. So yes, the, the, they are. Yeah, on. I just got done powering yeah. all that on. Yeah, they are on. I turn on the, the the heat sinks as well as the shields as well. Ah, there we there go. go. There we go. All right, let's find let's find spawn zone now. Success. So I can't move that without. So it's, it's only front fire. I can't turn. I can't shoot behind me with this. Yeah, that's why I'm turning back toward the sponsor. No, I was, I was checking because I didn't know myself, to be honest. We should still be in the. All right, cool. Yep. We're still up. Perfect. Do you see anybody? There was a guy in the. Oh, great! Th there he is. His weapons offline. Okay. Th th crack, crack, crack. Back up! Back up! I'm getting back in. Okay. There's an Ursa rover right by the the uh, the caterpillar uh, fin to your right. What? Caterpillar fin. I'm actually surprised that I'm being able to hit these gladiuses and stuff without without uh, proper aiming function on this thing. And these are size one weapons that people have been using with the auroras and stuff in uh, in Arena Commander anyway. So like with a few with a few oh, good you, shots. Oh, you got his attention. Yeah. Uh oh. 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 <laughs> Can you like a uh, reverse? Let's chase him. <laughs> It'd be so hilarious to kill a freaking gladius with a rover. I don't know what it is about my power consumption. The power. Um, well, you put all the power into weapons, and you were in the other chair. Ah, that explains a lot. Then. Right, let's see. Well, you got the, you got the, the, the power is still not in weapons. Right? right. It should should be balanced. Okay. Oh, great. That's what it is. There we go. I put I put power to uh, to throttle slightly, so maybe you, you can do 
some more. I love the sound design though, it's ridiculous. There we go. And that's why you have a co-pilot, so he can do that for you. Alright, so I, I think we've lost the Gladius now, that's long gone. Let's go see if we can find ourselves a rover. Uh-oh. That's... Ow, that? Ow. <laughs> Ow. So, uh... <laughs> when did you pass your driving lesson again? Do you drive with the throttle and the joystick, DJ? Yeah, I'm not That'd trying be... to. No, but I mean, why not that be easier? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not a fan of driving with throttle with the land eagle. Find you. Oh, man. Find you. I'm looking for that other rover. There it is. Oh, we're in the armistice zone now. Like, if you just back out a little bit, we'll be able to get him. Oh, they're just moving in so we can turn right back into the armistice zone from right here. There we go. So th this thing doesn't really have the best turning radius, but it works because it is a is a hefty vehicle. You'll be pleased to know as well that the damage states on this vehicle are actually into. The wheels pop off, all that kind of stuff too. And there we go, he's dead. Let's go check it out. Let's check out the wreckage. Nice route. And that's the survivor running towards us going, Hey, that's my ride! What are you doing? Thank you you idiot! <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you. Uh, I think it's a big pieces. ass star citizen DJ. Whoa. Yeah, I think it's in pieces. Indeed. Did you get out? I did get out, yeah. Alright, I'll come pick you up. Hold on one second. Alright, there we go. Not gonna. <laughs> That's what you get. What happened? He tried uh, the kamikaze. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <Yes. laughs> I had to do it. It was right there. Yep. Yep. It's yep. too easy. That's true. That's true. I don't hold anything against you. <laughs> All right, guys, you got 20 minutes left. What are we doing? Running stuff over. Running stuff over. Baby. Um, we could try. Uh, yo, let me get the the uh, the caterpillar. You got the real gun. We'll do what we did yesterday. Yeah, the caterpillar, right? awesome. Yeah, we'll do strafing runs, but like uh, with the real gun and also with uh, with with the guns in general too. Man, I'm just super stoked that the uh, that the, the the turret on the uh, on the Ursa rover actually works. You know, like uh, the way it did. Like, yeah. Because uh, I haven't actually seen the animation. Of the uh, of the turret guns slide up yet myself. <laughs> huh? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Did you just? <laughs> you're a menace, sir. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Try to load into the back of the gut of the cutlass. I I don't think he can load that. Oh, I know he can. <laughs> that mean I'm not gonna try that. Yeah, right. the, the wheels are too wide, so you can't even get a purchase onto the uh, ramp. Mm -hmm. Push it. I'm in the fitness, so I'm going to drop fitness yeah, Ursa in there. Yeah, just hang here until it takes off. Okay. Go to, go to third person. Oh, I see what you're trying to hey, do. Did go to third person, yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay. Power on, engaging. Hey, what are you doing? I'm running. I'm trying to get to this cat. This, uh... Cutlass. Cutlass. Alright, you get the Cutlass, I'll get yeah. to a rover. Uh, for the people in chat that are wondering what kind of uh, peripherals they are using, it's a combination of uh, X55s and X56s. 
I was going to say, if you're going to try this, you should have done it in the other server. In the other server. True. That's right. It's saluting it's the guy now. from the show floor. Yeah. We're against the, we're against the clock. Right. All right, so let me see if I can find something I can drive up. Let's see. I mean, they're canyons, actually. We know exactly what the, can the canyons are, too. Oh, yeah. Drive toward the sun. Yeah. I was just thinking about this over here, because we got a decent amount of uh, things that we can drop up over here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, follow, follow, follow DJ. Okay. Because uh, we might be able, if that rock right there in front of me is smooth enough, we might be able to jump that. Uh, looking for you? Oh, I see. Wait, is that you? Yep, that the gladius is shooting at. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Lifeless, he falls off the ramming. That's another too. solid example of the Cutlass's tank ability. Yep. Okay, so DJ's found a high purchase. That's cool. So the okay. question is, what side will we be able to jump? Oh, probably to the left side. There's a little... Yeah. That's, right. Is it enough to get a cutlass to fit next to it? I mean, you know. I mean, there's only one way I'm to try, I'm being shot at. I'm being shot at. Oh, I'm being shot at. Time to shoot back. It's painful. All right. They've taken out my rear shields. Where are they? Uh, I, see I can't see them. Hurry, hurry. They're scraping around me. I'm going to push out. Let's see, shall we? But I'm, I'm looking that I can now tell when I am being shot. Nonsense. In the previous build, that was just impossible. You couldn't. He's right on me. In fact, landing gear up. That way I can aim better. Look past me again. Where is he? I can see. I can see his pip right on the on the radar, but he's right behind me. There he is. All right. All right. Well, he's he's, he's disengaged. All so. right. He's gone. He's gone now. He's like, I would kill you, but I don't have enough time. All right. There we go. So there's, there's the there's air Okay, and that's why he wants to drive off? Yeah, see. yeah, we're trying to see if uh, this is a good enough drop. If you can fit in here. If okay. you can fit in there, I'll say do it. Like right here next to this rock. All right, where are you? It's very difficult to fly this low with a ship. Like I was saying before, atmospheric flight is slightly different. There's a lot of turbulence this low when you're trying to move. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, you can open a side okay, door okay, and just, okay. like, drop it in there. Should we try that too? It won't go in there. It won't go in? All right. Ah, oh, he's at me again. It's all right. You're in a tank. Yeah. Straight down. Straight down. Okay. No, not Whoa. point down. Straight. I've got like double turbulence because he's shooting at me so hard. <laughs> all right. His run is over. Straight down. All right. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. Now spin to your... Now turn to your left. Turn to my left. I was going to say, you want to you present your long form to him. Okay. You want to put your yeah exactly. You want yeah. to present them. There you go. Right. There you go. Hang just hang right there. Take it slow. Right, to you gotta, it. Maybe you, you gotta come down there. and yeah. further yeah. back. Get, get back up, back up quite a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I don't think this is a big enough uh, enough. Uh, if you come back some. Yeah. A little bit further. A little bit further. Stop. Now pitch up. <laughs> uh, it stopped all right. Not that much. <laughs> It's way more <laughs> difficult than it looks. I mean, you've seen me fly the Gladius quite okay. <laughs> it's way more difficult than it looks. Oh, that was hilarious. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Opponents. All right. Okay, so we might want to try the, uh, the, the private server real quick just because... Um, all the other vehicles right. are being used. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> we are loaded into the private server now to try taking an Ursa into space with only the materials that we have available to us. So you see, um, you remember the outpost just up there on the hill? Yeah. Do you want to try the uh, the cliff off that instead of uh, something more shallow? All right, cool. All right. This should be really cool if it works. It should be really awesome. I gotta slow down now though, because my guy's heart rate's uh, keeping up with it. Yeah, 
the armor will get you every time. Yeah. How am I? Doing okay, can run a bit more. I, can't, I like the stamina system as it is right now. I mean, like, that wasn't the longest run in the world, but uh, he recovered fast enough, you know, like, uh, without it being... Yeah. And you're also more susceptible to the stamina loss because you're in heavy armor. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to try to go up here. Like, my stamina Hopefully. was something to consider, but at the same time, it wasn't, like, uh, debilitating, you know? Like, uh, it, didn't hit, it doesn't hinder the gameplay that much. Right. But it's a gameplay mechanic. I'm sure it, uh, it'll become more apparent in those game modes where uh, you do need to run and gun a bit more, like in Star Marine and stuff. Right. Yeah, so Which you're is actually, I'm, I'm looking forward to oh, seeing yeah. how Star Marine is affected by the stamina system. Indeed. So you're up on the hill now? Yep. I think you might be on the other hill. Yeah. I came up on the other side yeah. of it. Yeah, I see it. So again... So I just got to figure out which cliff you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, any. You pick one. I'm just trying to... Actually, the idea that I'm trying to find right now is which cliff is big enough that you could kind of back up to it. Right, I'll, I'll uh, look, look up from above. Actually, right here, it seems like it might work nicely. Uh, where? If you come back down here, turn your landing gear on and tilt slowly, uh -huh. pitch up slowly, and back up to where, I'm right, where I am right now, it seems like it's a decent. It, it looks like more of the cliff for you than it is for me, but maybe it'll work, let's see. For me, everything looks a bit more shallow, but that's because I'm like way up above. All right, so I'm going to now yaw to the left. Yep. Now, pitch up a little bit. Pitch up a little bit. Actually, pitch up a lot and make yeah. yourself a ramp. Make, exactly. Make That's what I'm trying to go for. Okay. So, like, pitch up. All right. Up, up, up. And then... You, no, you tilt yourself out. You're making yourself a ramp. Yeah. yeah. So, he pitch up. I'm just be careful. Being careful. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Now, straight to your right. Straight to my right. Okay. Turn to your right. Oh, stop. Okay. You all to my right? Strafe back? Yeah. Now, strafe down. Strafe down. Okay. Having to feather like the almost to the ground. Yeah, like I, I have to feather the control key because it's a binary as opposed to granular like yours. All right. So I'm gonna have to hit that. <laughs> Can you shrink right backwards there. just a little bit more? Uh, sure. If I, uh, I'd have to very lightly. Ooh, oh. Right there. Right oh, yeah. there. Ooh. Down a little bit. That's probably pretty good. I have a bad feeling about this. See? Nope. Yeah, I need to go a bit lower. Stay right so, there. So down. Yeah. Right. So straight backwards, just a little bit more. Straight backwards. So backwards. I have yes. to go right. up before I can go back. No, no. Go down. Go back. No. Okay. You have to go back at the same spot. And now yeah, straight like right backwards now back. a little bit. Okay. Good job. Good a job. More, a little bit more. A little bit more. Now. Oh, oh, oh that's it right. Go so back up. Okay. Right right stop, 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 stop. Perfect. Right there. No. Nope. All right. So I think I need to get a little bit more running room. Yeah. It's a, good thing, it's a good thing my boss isn't right there watching us right now. <laughs> oh, oh no, I flipped him. Ah, oh, the weight. Oh. <laughs> that actually messed up, messed me up a little. Yeah, bit. No. I'm running away. All right, all right. So let's run a different area. Okay. Let's see where else works. I mean. I kind of, I kind of, uh, wait, I think over here might work. Right here. Alright, so I'm gonna come to you. Alright. So, really show, showcasing the difficulty of <laughs> freaking. Oh, there is perfect. There is perfect. What I'm looking at right now. Is, but I gotta get on top of this rock here. Yeah. So but if, if you get up, can, if you manage, you it'll be perfect. Yeah, that's, that's gonna work. Uh, try t turning the steering wheel to the right. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, left. We're trying to creep up the crevasse. You're almost there. All right, perfect. Are you just trying to go back right here? Uh, yeah, yeah. So let me just uh, double check and see where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay. Yeah, you should be able to back up to one of these edges perfectly. Yeah, I'm going to come a bit closer. Are right, you going to drive up to the front? No, I'm just going to decouple now and spin. All right, and then your left, control. Maybe you should go third person a little bit. Me? Yeah. Okay. All right, this is the last attempt, guys. Okay, last attempt. Uh, come on, come on. This is difficult. One second, I need to, there we go. Press that button like so. Press it again. Now I can do that. And now I can also zoom out a bit. So I, there we go. Okay, now straight backwards. Roll a little bit to your left. Yeah. And then pitch up. Like right now you're backing up over. Almost, almost, almost. So now back up. Back up. Okay, backing up. All right, so I'm going third person to try to help out with that as well. Yeah. Right? Okay, straight, straight down. Straight yeah, down. straight down. down. Okay. And tilt up. Okay. Right there. Stop. Whoa. Tilt down, tilt down. I'm trying, I'm oh. trying, I'm trying. Oh, it's caught on something. Yeah. It's caught, it's caught. Ooh. No. Ooh. 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 That's it. Whoa. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm alive. All right. I'll put the Roll landing gear to the left down. and then straight down. Roll to landing the left. gear was down. Oh, 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 that's perfect. Go, 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 go. Go. DJ go. now. Got it. Yes. yes. Okay. Now straight up. Okay. Straight up. Okay. Only straight up. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Could, okay. No, no. Go third person. DJ. No. It's still on there, though. All right. So straight right. <laughs> No! no! Right. Maybe tomorrow. No, no, <laughs> not maybe tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys.